Hi, my name is Zoe Mers, and I'm a graduate student in the Mir Lab, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our work in photo proximity labeling. So the proteins in our cells are not solo players. They're constantly engaging and cooperating with other proteins. And these protein interactions are very important for the normal function of the cell, and they're also relevant to many disease states. So the question is, how can we study these interactions in a live cell? In the Mir Lab, we develop tools that answer this question. The techniques that we develop must have high spatial and temporal resolution. That way we can capture even the shortest lived and weakest protein-protein interactions. Thus, we use and develop photo proximity labeling techniques. In these techniques, you bind a photocatalyst to a protein of interest. Upon short light irradiation, the photocatalyst excites chemical probes to the reactive species. These species can then go and tag other molecules within the neighborhood of your protein of interest. In an exciting new avenue in the lab, we developed a genetically encoded photoproximity labeling system. In the system, we fuse the photoactivatable protein love star to a protein of interest, and then we can express this construct in a live cell and study the interactome in a more native environment. All right, so here I'm standing in front of one of our synthesis hoods where I'm purifying a photocatalyst that I synthesize. Synthesizing photocatalysts is actually really quite beautiful because you get all these nice colors. So my photocatalyst is likely this sort of orangey brown fraction here. But what's really pretty is that all the byproducts from the column are these nice purple colors, and some of them are even pink. And so the purification looks really beautiful. And so now that I have purified a photocatalyst, we can go and test it in the dark room. All right, so here we are in the dark room where we test our photocatalyst that we synthesized. So I'm going to demonstrate for you how we use our 440 nanometer Kessel lamp for testing a photocatalyst. And so you really only need a short light irradiation to capture the interactome in a live cell. Thank you so much for coming today and watching this video. It's been great to talk to you and I hope to see you in the Mirror Lab sometime soon.